So we are in Heinen's. We've got the Ziploc bags. We're gonna put everything in clear bags so that we can see everything inside. We can label it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What's up guys, this is day 18 of VEDA. It is currently not raining outside, so I'm going to pack up all the stuff I need really quickly, and we're gonna go vacuum out my car before it rains. Okay guys, we are stopping at Heinen's real fast. I have to pick up some plastic bags so that I can take all the stuff out of my car before I vacuum it. I'm trying to get a really extra clean car, so I wanna make sure there's nothing in it when we clean it. And I gotta take everything out for the body shop anyway, so. So we are in Heinen's. We've got the Ziploc bags. We're gonna put everything in clear bags so that we can see everything inside we can label it it's going to be a lot of fun what's really cool is that this place actually accepts apple pay now so paying is going to be a lot easier okay we got the bags we're heading back to the car we're going to go and vacuum this thing out after putting everything in bags and get it nice and clean so i'm at my mom's place we got the vacuum we got it all plugged in it's working i think it's working so we are going to completely clean the inside of this car. We'll vacuum it out. We're gonna get all this stuff out of here, put it in plastic bags, including the owner's manual, some stuff under here. I think there's paper towels under here. We're gonna get everything out of the center console and the glove box. And we just got my laptop and some lightning cables in that bag. We're gonna get that out of here. We're gonna clean out. I think that's it actually. There's nothing else in this car. The side pockets are empty already. I've kept this thing pretty clean recently, so. Let's get started. So you may be wondering, why is there nothing attached to this? Why are you vacuuming this way? Well, that's because all the attachments appear to be missing. I mean, every single one of them. They're usually in the garage right here, in this bucket where I always put them after I clean my car and they're all gone. And we can't seem to locate them. So we're gonna do things the hard way, unfortunately. Okay, so we just finished up the trunk. We're starting on the back seat. I got my power inverter in a bag. We're gonna put everything in bags in the trunk, bring it over to my dad's place. So let's get started on these back seats, which are already pretty clean, but we're gonna make sure they're extra clean. Okay, the rear passenger side is finished. Now let's move on to the front passenger side. Okay, so we finished vacuuming this side and now it's time to take everything out of this glove box and get it in some bags. Well, except we're gonna leave the license and registration in the car because that's kind of important in case I get pulled over, which hopefully I don't, but we're gonna keep that in here. So I found some pretty interesting stuff in my glove box. I think I'm gonna keep this auto first aid kit in the car along with the registration because that's kind of important. We got this micro center flashlight that is extremely dim. So I might keep this, although my phone and my backup phone, you know, work as flashlights as well. I found my extra set of keys, the single way uh, remote start. So that's kind of cool to have. And I've got three of these USB adapters in here. So that's an interesting find. I've got this now, this Rocket Tech splitter, which I love because it's got two USB ports, two cigarette lighter ports, so I can have my phone, uh, my dash cam plugged into the USB ports. I've got my radar detector plugged in to one of the cigarette lighter ports and then the inverter would plug into this final cigarette lighter port. We're probably gonna get most of this out here, probably keep these two things in here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the keys in the car, but I definitely need these, so maybe we'll keep those and we'll get this stuff bagged up. Okay, so that finishes up the passenger side front. So now let's move on to the driver's side rear. Okay, we're finished with the driver's side back seat. Now, I took some stuff out of the back of the passenger seat, so let's look at our collection in the trunk so far. We've got owner's manual and 
I think a receipt from when we bought the car in 1998. Got the inverter, got my laptop, tissue box. We got our stuff from the glove box right here. And we got this from the back seat, which is actually a little remote and instruction manual for my stereo head unit that I had installed. So let's move on to the driver's side front and we're gonna take everything out of the center console after we finish vacuuming it out. All right, now we vacuumed out the front of the vehicle. Now it's time to get everything out of the center console. Now this should be fun. There's a good amount of stuff in here. I've got, oh, there's an SD card cover. I've got some you know, gum, tape, scissors, pens in here. Down here we've got an ODB2 scanner. Lots of broken sunglasses now. Whatever this is, envelope, lots of fun stuff. So let's get to it. So we're done cleaning out the center console and boy, do we have a lot of stuff in there. We got Tic Tacs, Tums from Five Hour Energy, um, keys, I don't even, like some of these keys, I don't even know what they go to. Uh, my old RIT parking pass, and audio, splitter cable, so much stuff. The, the manual for my dash cam, even the thermometer right here, which is pretty cool to measure the temperature in my air conditioning. So we're gonna bag all this stuff up and should be good to go. Okay, so we have everything but the bare essentials removed from the car. We got my backup pair of sunglasses, Minecraft style, and our auto insurance, our first aid kit, and the keys, spare keys, uh, in the car, and those will come out later. Uh, but I need that to drive the car right now, obviously. And we've got all this stuff that we took out. So we got, uh, so we got the stuff that was already in the back, owner's manual, receipts, got the inverter, laptop, tissue box. We got all the stuff right here from the glove box. We got the stuff from the back seat for the head unit. We've got the top of the center console here. We've got or this, I'm probably gonna take into the house. But we've got some gum and the, uh, the micro SD adapter for my dash cam. I found an old Father's Day card, so that's kind of cool. We'll have to, you know, to use this sometime. Uh, and then we've got all the stuff from the lower center console, just like the ODB2 scanner, broken sunglasses, our emergency 50 energy tums, Advil, Tic Tacs, parking pass, all your good stuff. So we're gonna get this stuff over to my dad's house and out of the car and should be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this car cleaning experience. Now, one last thing that I like to do after cleaning the car is to check the oil level and to fill up the windshield washer fluid. Now, you want to check the oil on level ground, and obviously this ground is not level, so we're going to move the car, we're going to check the oil, we're going to top off the washer fluid with some bug wash, and we should be good to go. Well, this isn't exactly level ground, but everything seems to check out, so I think we're good here. We're going to hit the road. VTEC, 18 year old engine right there. Still runs great though. Okay, so we're now at Kohl's. We're doing a little bit of clothes shopping because I don't have any clothes at my dad's place. So we're trying to stock up on a few essential items. Okay, we are back from clothes shopping. Got everything here. In the room, it's pretty late, so I'm gonna go get some food and then maybe unpack this tonight. Honestly, I might unpack it tomorrow. Well guys, we just finished up dinner and everyone's headed off to sleep. So I think that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.